Good morning. Uh, today, let's take a look at our agenda so that we can get started. Um, we are going to go over your questions that you did in Google Classroom, those three questions about how we can uh, conserve our soil uh, being a super important natural resource. Uh, then I'm going to kind of explain what your study guide assignments are going to be. And then after that, I'm just going to have the rest of the time for you to work on your study guide. So uh, let's take a look at those questions on uh, page 136. I'll try to zoom this out a bit. Um, There we go. We'll go with that one right there. Um, so the first question says, why is soil a necessary resource? If you have something in your answer about it being able to sustain life, that it allows us to grow food so that we can eat or we can feed our animals, um, really make sure that you include this part right here as well in your answer. If you don't have it, make sure you put it in it. Um, is that Soil also purifies water. It cleans it. It recycles nutrients for us so that we can make it usable, that we can consume it. So I'm pretty sure some of you don't have that in your answer, but make sure that you do get that in. That's a really important part of that question. Question number two says, how does farming, construction, and mining affect soil? Um, well, all three of them, they destroy soil or they remove plants, or they uh, remove the soil itself to occur. So when you're farming, uh, farmers add chemicals to soil. Farmers plow. Farmers cause, well, as they're plowing, some of that soil to uh, become dust and blow away. Construction, that's, they also uh, dig up the ground. Uh, they may actually dig uh, for basements. They will plow it under. They'll take uh, plant cover and get rid of that plant cover, then not allowing the uh, roots of those plants to hold the soil in place. Um, mining, it affects the soil because with well, mining, you just dig up the soil. You dig around, you make those open pit mines, and you just remove the top layers of soil, and uh, that material is no longer usable. And if you remember, it takes a long time for soil to form. Uh, up to 10,000 years for soil to get to a point where it's actually able to grow trees. And uh, so when you look at farming, construction, and mining, they all do destroy or use soil. Uh, they remove the plants, whatever. And then the last question, list and describe the three ways that we talked about how to conserve. And there's a lot here because I there was a lot of information. I put all five down. Uh, crop rotation, which just means picking to grow different crops every few years because of the uh, nutrients that those crops do take out of the soil. And if you don't switch up those uh, crops, those nutrients are going to be depleted in that soil and they won't be able to grow anymore. Contour plowing, uh, that's remember when farmers uh, that farm land that is kind of hilly, they leave rows in between their rows of crops. Uh, with grass to hold the soil in place so it doesn't wash down. Windbreaks, we talked about those in class as being where you plant trees along the property of your fields or the edges of your fields so that the wind can't blow the soil away, which conserves it, which keeps it in its area. Uh, terracing, uh, that's allowing you to farm in areas that are too hilly to do contour plowing. And what it basically is, is you're cutting those steps into the hills. Uh, and then you got that last one, conservation tillage, which means uh, that you are not plowing the old crops under. You're using them as fertilizer or food for the next crops that go in there. So um, you probably need to take a little moment and uh, uh, get some of those jotted down. So go ahead and do that. Uh, pause it if you need to. Uh, I'm going to get moved on to our next part here in our agenda, uh, which is talking about the study guide. Uh, which you'll work on today. Uh, the study guide looks like this. As a matter of fact, it is this. And the first question on this study guide, and this is a shortened version of the study guide. I tried to give you something a little bit shorter to work on. It's a re reinforcing key concepts. 
with, with that, it, what it's doing is just trying to hit the high points, the, the most important parts. So the first question, it says soil is a necessary resource. Uh, it helps sustain life. Describe how soil is connected to you personally. Uh, your answers can vary in here, but make sure you think about, you know, soil is everywhere. Soil comes from rocks. Soil allows you to grow food. Uh, the food that you ate this morning or yesterday or any time uh, came out of the soil. If it didn't come, if it didn't come out of the soil, uh, whatever uh, animal or whatever that ate what came out of the soil, there that's kind of how you're connected. You're connected in so many ways. The next one talks about what overgrazing is and uh, desertification. Um, this one, I know we didn't put into the notes, uh, but it was connected to overgrazing. So in your book, talking about uh, desertification. Um, when you look at the word desertification, you have to look at the word desert is in there. So basically, if you look under land use practices in your book, in section 4.3, it will talk about what that is. Uh, but if you just use your clues here, if the word desert's in it, um, it's the process of an area becoming deserted, like a desert. Um, the plant cover goes away. Uh, the water doesn't get held in the soil um, and it gets washed away. But You'll talk about that, or you can look that up, get a better answer than that. And then the last question on this page, uh, two parts for each one. Uh, when you look at both of these, when you look at both of these pictures, you have to decide what um, conservation method of the five that we talked about uh, are each one, and you're gonna write that where it says identify it, but then you have to describe it. Down here in the description part, you have to write down what what that particular uh, conservation effort to conserve soil is called. You have to explain what it is. And again, I keep on saying this, and many of you are doing this, and unfortunately there's only, there's probably about 10 or 15 of you that aren't. Highlight your answer, please. It is very simple for you to highlight your answer, and it saves me a lot of time. It really does when I'm looking at your answers. Uh, I need to be able to just look really quick at one spot and it, and it stands out better for me. So uh, please highlight your answers. And then the second page is a reading activity. Uh, it's talking about a concept called, the, or not a concept, an event in history called the Dust Bowl. Uh, it happened in the 30s. It happened in the central part of the United States. And um, actually it happened in the 1870s. Sorry, my mistake. Um, there was a lot of things that happened up to this point, um, but when we really, um, I should, I, I explained that completely wrong. The things that happened in the 1870s caused the Dust Bowl to happen in the 30s. Now, there was this period of time right here when you read about uh, an area in the United States became just a, a wasteland of, of, of soil and farming didn't happen and cattle didn't survive. And then our country basically began to starve because we couldn't provide for us. Uh, farming failed. But when you read this, um, read it carefully, read about what the causes are of the, the, um, of the Dust Bowl, and then read about uh, look at this chart, this graph, this picture, this map, uh, where it was located and where the erosion happened with the soil, with the wind, and then answer these questions accordingly. There's three of them. What states were involved with the Dust Bowl? Uh, why is extreme soil erosion not a problem in the Great Plains? Why was it not before 1870s? Uh, and then what caused the Dust Bowl of the 1930s? Now, this Dust Bowl also happened to happen at a time in history uh, where uh, the United States was going through and going through a Great Depression as well, where uh, jobs were lost and people lost money in, in the stock market. Um, and these were all interrelated. They all were connected to one another. So 
that is really it for your assignment. Um, so, so two pages, make sure you do both pages um, and don't delete a page. I know that uh, some of you sneaky ones out there are, are uh, doing one page, but then deleting the next slide and saying, oh, I didn't have that slide. Uh, <laughs> caught you. Um, it's both there. I know they're there. Uh, remember, you always have the back button right here. If you do accidentally click on something wrong and it deletes, you have the back button, the undo button. Keep on doing that until it comes back. So with that being said, um, I'm only about 11 minutes in. That means you have about 30 minutes or so to work on this and to finish it. Uh, I have no doubts that you will finish it today in class. Uh, we'll correct this uh, the next time we meet. And um, as I said in some of the other videos, make sure you're studying for this test. Make sure you go back over and look at 4.3 and 4.2 and 4.1 stuff so that it's still fresh in your mind. Uh, we'll be testing on this next uh, Tuesday. Uh, so uh, make sure that you are on top of that. So that's all I have to say. And uh, that's it. Have a good day.